Hi, my name is Craig Bloodworth of the Information Lab, and I'm here to answer a call from a Tableau Zen Master, uh, Chuck Huber. Chuck has been um, going on a mission to try and bring dynamic parameters to Tableau in any way possible. All right, we love Tableau, we love parameters, we just don't like the fact that they're static and we have to update them all the time when the underlying data changes. So I thought, well, how can we how can we make this happen? So Chuck, this one's for you. Now, let me just take you to a quick dashboard. My tool of choice um, for this is the, the JavaScript API. So this dashboard is rendered in the browser. We have this very simple dashboard of, of a map and a bar chart. As we'll see, uh, the map is from one data source, the bar chart is from another. Okay, so a classic use case of a parameter to do sort of cross uh, data source filtering. And up here from the, uh, using the JavaScript API, if I drop down, um, again, sort of classic dashboard use case, drop down a uh, uh, parameter use case, drop down a values and, and clicking one of those values filters both the, the worksheets and the dashboard. Okay, now let's have a look at the dashboard itself. It's built from uh, a SQL Server database and also from an Excel spreadsheet. The map has its primary data source of the SQL Server database. Um, it's you know sales, deliveries by city. And notice in the, the filter shelf here, I have a uh, the product dimension. Okay, the product dimension is currently set to use all, but in the condition tab, I have this formula that looks at the parameter uh, called product and tests whether it's equal to the dimension product. Okay, that parameter product is essentially a placeholder for the JavaScript API to insert its value to. Um, it's currently set to all, and when you change one of the this drop down to a certain value, it'll update this this parameter to the value you select. Essentially, doing the filtering for you. The bar chart is built from the Excel spreadsheet. Okay, so we're going across two distinct data sources, but again, it has this, this product filters value. Again, so that's set to use all, and on the condition tab, it has that formula pointing to the product parameter. Now, if we were to go into uh, our database, and let's say we've just you know made a new sale, um, I'm going to insert in a new record. This sale is made in Bristol, and it was a printer for £200. Let's save that. Okay. I'm going to hit refresh here. Now, if this was just a static, regular parameter, I would have to go into Tablet Desktop, I'd have to add in printer to the list of parameters to be able to use it in a in a drop down within Tablet Desktop. The JavaScript API though allows me to not only refresh the the data so that we now see the sale in Bristol, but also go into that uh, the product pill on the filter shelf and look at all the brand new values that are listed. And what we'll find as we drop down here, we'll see printer is now listed. Hitting printer, we'll filter to Bristol. And the the bar chart, which if you remember is built from the Excel spreadsheet, doesn't have the printer in it. So it has nothing returned. I can still go change back to any other value or back to all the products. The code that makes this happen is, like I said, basically just going in, it, it's it's grabbing a, a, a dashboard from Tableau server. When that dashboard's rendered, it then triggers a couple of calls to go into um, the, the filter on each sheet that's present within the dashboard and present the, the different filters that have been put into the, the worksheet as drop downs in, in the, uh, the browser. Um, there's also a, a way to control that. I've got a, like, a little parameters list here. So if I had multiple filters and I only wanted, say, product to show up, I could just leave product in here. If I wanted to put other ones in, I could put others in this list and more and more drop downs would show up. All being dynamic, all essentially driven directly from the database. So Chuck, I hope that answers your, your call to action and uh, 
I'd love to know your feedback.